this tutorial, I want to show you how you can use some ifs to find the total between two dates in Microsoft Excel. So here we have daily sales, and we want to find the total sales between March 25th and October 1st, 2023. To this, we can do equal sum ifs. And we're doing the plural version because we're going to have multiple criteria. So the first range, or the first argument is our sum range. So what do we want to sum? Well, we want to sum up all of these sales. Criteria range one, where are you going to look for a criteria? Well, we're basing where you want to sum on the dates so that we're using. So we're going to want to have the same criteria or the criteria where we have the dates. The comma one, what is our criteria? Well, we want to have a date that is something that is either greater than or greater than or equal to March 25th, 2023. So we're going to first put it in quotes, greater than. And one thing to note too is that this is in quotes right here. So that which uh, which you have to kind of put your greater than equals to greater than in quotes and then and to separate the text from this and um, the cell reference here. Greater than Mar March 25th and then criteria range 2. So we're going to base our second criteria also on the dates. So we're going to select the right here. And the second criteria is going to be less than or equal to this date right here. Close parentheses, and and there you have it. As you can see, you know we, that this is total between these two dates. And one thing to note too, I'm going to kind of go. I'm going to put um, so you can uh, the comma right there, so you can kind of see it a bit better. As you can see, the greater than or equal to and less than or equal to is kind of in quotes and it has an ampersand sign, um, which is important to make the function work. Now let's just say you wanted to have the date inside of your function as well and you didn't want to have it as a sum reference. So if you don't want to have the date inside your um, formula instead, you're going to want to make sure that you use the date function. So you can use date, and then you can have the year be 2023, and then a month, March, and then the 25th. And then if we want to have the dates in our criteria, we can also use date function here. And then we can use 22, 3, and then my 10, and then 1. But as you can see, it gives us the same number. But it's, it's important that if we want to use the date function, if we want to have a sum, if we want the date inside the formula itself, that it, we need the date function to get the dates with the year, month, and the day. So that way it will, uh, so we, it will read as a date in the formula. Um, this is the kind of same thought process with an average ifs, for example, or any of the other kind of criteria of functions where you have multiple criteria to get your answer. That said, I hope you found this to be helpful. If you did, like, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching. You have a great day.